Hello everyone, my name is Leandro Bueno Bergantin. In this video, I'm going to talk about my new article published in Current Hypertension Reviews, which is entitled Hypertension, Diabetes and Neurodegenerative Diseases. Is there a clinical link through calcium cyclical and P-signal interaction? First of all, we should remember about calcium signaling. As we know, calcium signaling classically controls many biological functions. For example, calcium signaling controls the release of neurotransmitters, the release of hormones, and so on. So, by reducing the activity of calcium signaling, we should have a reducing of this physiological process. For example, by reducing the activity of calcium signaling, we should expect a reducing of the neurotransmitter release, a reducing of the release of hormones, and so on. Classically, calcium channel blockers have been used as antihypertensive medicines because they reduce the influx of calcium into the cells, thus reducing the activity of calcium signaling. Thus, calcium channel blockers should reduce the release of neurotransmitters, should reduce the release of hormones, and so on. But curiously and paradoxically, since the 70s, we know that calcium channel blockers at low doses, low concentrations, can enhance the release of neurotransmitters, enhance the release of hormones. So this is a clear paradox because if I am reducing the influx of calcium to the cells, we should have a reducing of the neurotransmitter release, a reducing of the hormones release, even in low dose or in high dose, but never an enhancing of the neurotransmitter release or an enhancing of the hormones release. Because even using low dose or high dose of calcium channel blockers, we are also reducing the activity of calcium signaling. Thus, it should always have the reducing of the neurotransmitter release and the reducing of the hormones release. So, 40 years later, in the years 2013, we discovered that low dose of calcium channel blockers can activate another signaling pathway, the cyclic MP signaling pathway. And we know that calcium cyclic MP signaling pathway can enhance the release of neurotransmitter, enhance the release of hormones, and so on. So low dose of calcium channel blockers, in the end effect, is enhancing the activity of cyclic MP signaling pathway. So one interesting strategy that we are working now is to combine calcium channel blockers, low dose of calcium channel blockers, with drugs which increase the concentrations of cyclic MP. Because by combining calcium channel blockers with drugs which increase cyclic MP, we could enhance the neurotransmitter release, enhance the hormones release. So it could be a new strategy to treat neurodegenerative disease, disease that is resulting, that are resulting in the reducing of the neurotransmitter release, diabetes, another disease that is resulting in the reducing of the hormone release, and so on.